thought a big part of this game was that interception you had in midfield and running it back because it, it was got a little tight there. And uh, just talk about that play and overall the play of the defense. Man, I know we needed to play. I had to step up. I went up and got it. Ran it back. Unfortunately, I fumbled, but hey, we got that thing back, baby. This is such a big win in Forest Hills history. I mean, this, it's probably the second time in over 15 years you guys are going to be practicing on Thanksgiving Day. Oh, yes, um, this was a great 8th grade team I remember seeing, and the core of that team is still here. Yes, Just talk about the where you guys have come from, from 8th grade to here, and how important it is to deliver on the field tonight. Yes, sir. We came up as 8th graders. We all stayed together. Some left, some with the other teams, but we all knew we had to stay together because we could be good, a good core. Man. The step up, we had ninth graders, we playing senior ball, everybody, everybody straight boys, and we had no JV. So we had knew we had to step up, and now we're here. Well, everything that a uh, high school football player dreams of practicing on Thanksgiving. Yes, Talk about that in your, your next battle. I'm just ready, man. I'm ready to go out there and practice, get better. Go out there, whoever we got, go out there and beat them. I mean, first game we played really bad, and uh, we, knew we, had a, we knew we could beat them. We just had to come back and fix easy mistakes, and we knew we would win. Everything starts with that offensive line. Gave you great protection and uh, opening up holes for Rodney and his three TDs. But talk about that offensive line over this season and in the playoffs. They worked all year. They worked hard this week, you know, opening those gaps. And we knew the run game was going to be there. You know, we figured Rodney was going to have three touchdowns or maybe more. And, uh, yeah, they worked their butts off this week in practice. And, uh, that was great to see it, it pay off. I'm practicing on Thanksgiving morning. That's going to be fun. And uh, whoever we play, we're going to give them. It's going to be a good game. And uh, we're, going to be, we're going to be ready, more ready than this week. All right, Coach. Uh, this is a big, this is a big win, deserving of that ice bath. Uh, this is the first Forest Hills team uh, making the deepest run in 15 years. Wow. Really amazing. Just talk about when you when you got here and the evolution and what's being delivered here this season and on this field tonight. No, it's it's a testament to our guys and them buying in when I first got here because you know COVID was difficult on all of us, but. You know, to these guys, to see some of these guys come out like Aiden Smith and Luke Jackson that are here supporting us, those guys were the initial part of when I started. And we talked about the building blocks, building the program to get it back to that Force Hills brand about how successful they was in the past and building upon that. And they believed and invested in. And now you got these seniors that I played as freshmen, and here they are, moved on to the fourth round. Um, fourth round. So it's a testament to them, and I couldn't be more proud for these guys and happy for the community and the fans and the school itself. How tough is it as a coach? I mean, you don't see it very often in high school football where you're having to beat an opponent twice in a season. You guys have to do it to two, to two schools in a matter of three weeks. How tough is that? Uh, does it make it easier or tougher? No, it's, it's always a challenge because you just got to remind the guys is, you know, you, you can't judge it off of your last performance against the team. And we knew it. We didn't play as well as we liked the first game. And, you know, that team is a really good team, very strong program, very well coached and disciplined. And, and you watch them, you know, them scoring at the end is exactly what they do. They fight to the end. So that's a testament to them. And, you know, to our guys, you know, they did a fantastic job all week in preparation for this game as well as the Anson game. Um, leading into it and our kids understand the value of that and the way they're executing our game plan you know it's a testament to our kids and our coaching staff and everything that we're doing. Our offensive line it always starts up front in the trenches both sides of the football and Coach Smalls does a phenomenal job of those guys studying film um, making sure they're well prepared they understand where blitzes are coming from um, and they do a great job picking up pressure and, and all those guys are coachable um, very invested and they understand that if for us as a team to have success, we got to be able to run and throw the ball. And they, they take joy in doing all those things. And for someone like Rodney to step up who wasn't able to play the first game and come and do what he does, um, you know, is a testament of how hard he works. And our guys feed off each other, and they don't care who gets the credit. Um, they're going out performing for each other, and that's what the playoffs is about. A high school football player dreams about practicing on Thanksgiving. Just talk about how special it's going to be this week and, and that day. 
Turkey's going to take us a little bit different. Um, it's it's exciting for us and, and to be here to have to you know come on this schedule that's a little bit different because of the days off and the thing, um, practice on Thanksgiving. It's what you dream of when you're a high school athlete to be in this situation to be this far along um, in the playoffs and have the opportunities because everybody talks about that and our guys had that opportunity and it's something they're never going to forget. They're not going to forget these moments and and we had a, our band was fantastic, our fans were fantastic, our cheerleaders were fantastic, and the community supporting us you know this is this is what I live for those moments and the happiness of everybody and these life stories that have been made and, and the seeds that God's planted within these kids in the community.